Merry almost Christmas. Hi, I'm Tom, your friendly neighborhood atheist. And I, like many atheists, like to compare the story of Santa Claus with God. Why do I like to do that? Well, because Santa Claus is for children and it uses presents, the promise of being good, and threats of coal for being bad, much like the legend of God uses heaven as the reward for being good and hell as the punishment for being bad. But now that it's Christmas, it's time to put that aside. Because let's look at the word Christmas. Christmas. Christ mass. That's where the origin of the word comes from. It comes from people believing that there was a Christ who was born on December 25th, 2016 years ago. Well, there's another god, Horus, an Egyptian god, who was also supposedly born on December 25th of a virgin. Imagine that. Some other god with the same backstory as Christ. Now, if you look at the story of Christ, how do you think that they figured out that date? How do they think they are so accurate to the story of this young child and what he did? And then they lost track of him for several years and they picked up with him several years later when he was an adult. Now, Santa Claus, who I like to compare to God for the same reasons, um, he's also supposed to be a real person. St. Nicholas, a Greek Orthodox bishop who was known for giving gifts. And the legend grew into Santa Claus. Now, a real person? Yes. Magical powers? No. Christ? Jesus Christ? Real person? Possibly. Magical powers? No. So the things that you read in the Bible are really blatantly wrong. He didn't have any magical powers. And neither does Santa Claus. These are traditions, legends, that are carried over hundreds of years and they develop into something magical because it's fun and because it keeps people interested. Now, I know that Santa Claus and God aren't really a fair comparison, but to a child, Santa Claus is a very simple, legendary creature. To God, or uh, for adults, God is a, well, more complex, but it's a legendary being. It doesn't mean either is real. Just because we talk about something doesn't make it real. And even if we've talked about it for a hundred thousand years, it still doesn't make them real. Questioning your beliefs. We encourage children to do it when they believe in Santa Claus. They get to a certain age where we discourage them from believing in Santa Claus. But believing in a God? Nobody discourages you from believing in the God. They encourage you. They threaten you. They say, if you don't believe, you're going to go to hell. Now, imagine if we kept telling children, if you don't behave, Santa Claus is going to give you coal. Or you're not going to get any presents. Or worse yet, let's bring up Krampus. Krampus is an Eastern European anti-Santa Claus. The anti-Christ of Christmas. Kr Krampus is a creature who will steal away the children who misbehave. Kind of like sending them to hell. Now, would you keep telling your children that? That they will be sent to or be uh, taken away by Krampus if they keep misbehaving? So why do you tell people who don't believe in your God that they will go to a hell for eternity? if they don't believe in it. Just want you to think about these things. I'm Tom, your friendly neighborhood atheist, and my objective is not so much to tell you that God is myth, though I do very often say God is a myth. I'm not trying to force you into believing what I believe. That's not my objective. I'm trying to encourage you to question what you believe, because if you believe God is real, it's not that much different than a child believing Santa Claus is real. And the same tricks that are used to get kids to believe in Santa Claus are used on adults to keep them believing that God is real. Anyways, I'll catch you next time.